Hey guys, so in this video we'll be talking about the Randy operator in MATLAB and that is Randy with a I, not a Y. So if you recall from the previous video where we discussed the, um, the RAND function, Randy is pretty much the bigger brother to the RAND and it stands for random integer. So think of it this way, um, RAND is your younger sister where she can only generate elements from 0 to 1. But Randy, on the other hand, um, he's your older brother, and he can generate, or I should say, um, randomly generate numbers to the maximum value that you tell it to. So what do I mean by this? Um, let's start with an example. If I go to my command window and type in Randy5, what this does is it pretty much takes a random variable between 1 and 5. So with Randy, you're determining your maximum value. So if I do randy28, um, it's going to take numbers from 1 up to 28, including 28, and then it's going to choose a random number for me. So it picked 13. If I do it one more time, it picked 6. If I do it again, it picked 3, um, 24, and you can do this all day long. So another useful feature of this operator is that we can also make a matrix out of it. So using the randy operator, we can do randy, random integer, open parentheses. And then here, the first number is always going to be your maximum value. So say I want to have a maximum value of, uh, I'm going to go with 10, comma. And then remember the MATLAB formatting is always going to be rows times columns. So now let's do um, four rows and then two columns. If I close parentheses and hit enter, there you go, it just made the matrix for me. And, and remember, my maximum value is 10. So it's not gonna have an 11, 12, or anything bigger than 10 into my matrix. It's gonna take numbers from one up to 10, including 10. And that that's pretty much it. So the Randy, um, don't forget, it's, it's gonna end with an I, stands for random integer. And, you know, in order to make a Randy matrix, all you got to do is you pick some number and it generates the number between one up to that number. And, you know, for, for the actual matrix, you can do, um, you can do Randy max, which is going to be your maximum value here, and then rows times columns. And that's going to be it. So stay safe. And if this video helped you, please give it a like.